Tonight, the proposed sale of the Cincinnati Southern Railway might go off the rails. It needs a change to state law to make it happen. But state lawmakers have wiped that change from the budget bill now. Our Valerie Lyons live in Queensgate for us tonight. So Valerie, what does this mean? Well, Evan, it means this sale is now stuck on the tracks. You see, under what's known as the Ferguson Act, the city has always been able to sell the railway so long as that money is used to pay off city debts. But the CSR Board of Trustees only agreed to this deal because lawmakers were set to approve a change that would allow the city to instead use that money for existing infrastructure projects. It shouldn't be buried in a multi-billion dollar transportation bill. That's how former Cincinnati Councilman Kevin Flynn feels about selling one of Cincinnati's most prized assets. And it seems some Ohio senators agree. I'm cautiously happy that they've stripped that out. Last month, the House passed the state's transportation budget. In it, the legislative green light for Cincinnati to put $1.6 billion from the sale of its Southern Railway into a trust fund. But that momentum now stalling after the Senate Transportation Committee stripped the amendment from the bill. For the citizens of Cincinnati, I think about certainty in terms of getting value from this asset for generations to come. It's a disappointing setback for trustees who voted unanimously to sell the CSR to Norfolk Southern last November. Yes. Trustee Muthing? Yes. Trustee Murray? Yes. And for Cincinnati Mayor Puraval, who in a statement says he's committed to working with legislators to see that sale move forward. But some like Flynn. It's been a great producing asset. Feel the sale isn't in the city's best interest. Norfolk Southern currently leases the railway, netting Cincinnati $25 million in extra income a year. The railroad is probably a safer, better investment than, the one point, than, than taking the sale proceeds and investing it in the stock market. Flynn also voiced concern over the bill's writing, worried it didn't specify what would qualify as capital projects. It's easy to see the project of the day become what this money gets spent on, and we continue to ignore our true existing assets that are deteriorating. Now, lawmakers can ultimately put this provision back in the bill, but it'll need to pass the full Senate by the 31st. Does this mean the CSR sale is completely off the table? No, but it likely means a delay. Live in Queensgate tonight, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.